Hi everyone. In this series of videos, we're looking at how to use the Fusion Builder elements. Today, we're looking at how to use the widget element. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. The widget element, introduced in Avada 6.2, allows you to add a single widget directly in your content, anywhere you like, and edit it live in the Fusion Builder. You can add any widget type you have, including WordPress widgets, Avada widgets, and any third-party widgets. I'm on the Yoga demo here, and in this one-third column on the blog page, I've added a new title, and I'm going to add the widget element directly under that. I'll just add the element, and as we can see it has two tabs, General and Design. Let's start with the General tab. The first option is Widget, where you select the widget you want to add. The widgets you will see on this drop-down will depend on your own installation, as some plugins also add widgets to the widget area. You can select any widget here, and when you do, further customization options will appear for that specific widget. For my example, I'm going to add the Avada Tabs widget. The options I can now see here are all options for the Avada Tabs widget. Some widgets have only a few options, while some have many. I will just quickly configure this as I want. I'll just change the post design to avatar circle, and I might hide the comments. At the bottom of these options are of course the element visibility option which you can use to show or hide this element on various screen sizes, and the CSS class and CSS ID fields for further customization with CSS. OK, let's now move to the design tab. This is the equivalent of the Avada widget options in the actual widgets. These options control the widget container, not the widget itself. The first option here is padding, so if I add a small value in here, we can see the padding is applied all around the widget. Below this is an option for margins, which you can also apply around the element. Background colour is the next option, and this will depend on the widget. This one, for example, is already styled, and so the background colour wouldn't be seen without the padding I've set, but on many others it would. The next option, background radius, affects the radius of the container. And so again, you will only see this if you have a widget that takes a background colour. Let's just remove that border radius, colour, and the padding as well. Following this, there is an option for border size. And if you add a border, a border style option for styling the border, and a border colour option appear underneath. I'm happy without borders for this one. Then there are two content align options, where you can choose inherit, left, right, or centre. As the description explains, inherit means that the content will inherit alignment from its parent element. Alright, that's about it. This is a very useful element for directly inserting a single widget into your page content, and it builds on the flexibility of Avada's integration with WordPress. OK, this concludes our video on how to use the widget element. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.